These foundation brushes are for your complexion application. Now, what you need to look out for is to make sure that your foundation brush is nice and even throughout. You don't want to be buying one that all the little um, brush bristle brushes are everywhere because that's going to actually cause some streakiness. And you want to make sure that when you get your foundation brush and dab it in the back of your hand that it feels quite firm. So this will also help you in the application process when you're trying to dab and get it the right way. Now they do come in all different sizes. There's smaller ones, there's larger ones, and there's medium ones. Just always make sure once again, you're getting a size that really is comfortable in your hand and it's easy to use in your own hand. These powder brushes are great to use to set your powder with after you've applied your foundation. Now in a few of the other lessons, I'll be using these quite a lot and you'll learn how to use them to set your foundation. Now they do come in different feels. So there's a softer feel and then there's a little bit more harder. The harder is great if you're applying a foundation that's mineral, so a little bit more coverage, you need the brush to be harder so it can pick up more pigment and actually get rid of more flaws on your face. Whereas if you're already wearing a liquid foundation or a stick foundation, you want a nice loose brush. That way you put it into your loose powder and you just dab it on really lightly. Now there is a lesson on that, so please watch our lesson on powder applications. A concealer brush is great if you make sure that it actually fits under your eye area. Now I love a nice rounded concealer brush so it fits just under the eye because if it's going to fit under your eye that means it's going to conceal every other little area as well. Now make sure that your concealer brush is synthetic because you will be using a lot of liquids and a lot of cream concealers so please make sure that it's synthetic. Now also, another thing I love about concealer brushes is making sure that it's nice and firm. So just like the foundation brush, when you're dabbing, you want a good amount of concealer to go in that specific spot so then you can conceal. So make sure your concealer brush is nice and firm. Lip brushes are great to apply lipstick with. Now you can just use the normal lipstick, but if you do want that really defined look around your lips, get yourself a lip brush. Now on purchasing a lip brush, it's really important to make sure that the width of the brush fits your lips. So if your lips are small, don't go and get a bigger brush because then you're just gonna keep getting smudges. Make sure you get a smaller brush. And with that brush, then that way you can follow your lips, taking from your lipstick and just following along. Lip brushes are an amazing thing, especially if you don't wear lip liners.